everyone, me again after a day of foraging. Now the fun part, how do you clean them? Now, I personally, I don't wash my mushroom until I ready to cook them. So I'm gonna have to show you how to brush them off. So basically, just use any brushes. I have a brush at home and you can use any clean brush like toothbrush or something. Now, I'm gonna show you how you clean your mushroom. So this one, I picked them earlier. What you do, you don't wash your mushrooms until you're ready to cook them. And this is a little brush here. Um, I use this brush because I already got it uh, in my house. And normally you just use any brushes and just brush all the dirt off from underneath or on the top of the mushroom. So normally they are quite clean. So what you do, if you have some dirt on their legs, see, you just trim them off with a knife, scrape them off. That's what I normally do. Now, this is the fun part. You know when you go and pick the mushroom, you always get excited. When you do that, you just pick them off. And sometimes you just hurry up to pick them and then because you're just so happy to do that and then you forgot to clean them up before you put in the basket. Often I don't do it properly because I just <laughs> I just enjoying it. And one by one, here we go in the basket. And then by the time you get home, oh my god, what have I done? I should have sit down and listen to all the birds singing and everything in the woods and then after that have a nice clean mushroom in the basket so i can have less work at home but i don't mind other way of doing it so i hope you do enjoy them uh it's a technique again <laughs> pick them up and clean them up halfway through and now you don't have to do it now they're all clean and what i need to do just cut them up into pieces I don't want to cut them too small. In this case, I like my mushroom to be quite chunky. What I do after that, I just have to put them in the bag and freeze them up for later. So after that, what do I do with them? I love to put them in the jungle curry, which is traditional Thai curry. Um, including all the bits and pieces like a bamboo shoots and all the rest of herbs and uh, basil. That is, it's a lot of Thai people love that way of cooking. But sometimes you can fry them in a nice crushed garlic and with a bit of butter, and then you can use that in your steak. So it's so many different uh, ways you can cook the mushroom or you can grill them or you can steam them or fry them in the stir fry anything with vegetable so when you freeze them up and after that you just take them out and you don't have to thaw them you just boil the water and just put them in there and a couple of water after boil and rinse them and then you'll be able to cook them how easy is that? Here we go, label them on, what month that I picked, and lovely two portion of two hours mushroom hunting. Happy day! Here we go, another day of foraging and show you how to clean and freeze them. See you next time. Goodbye.